that's it. We fueled up a bit and off we go again. Yeah, we're just cruising up to the next lock. I think we've got five locks to do or four, maybe four locks to do now. But cruising up, just taking our time because it is really warm, so we don't want to get too hot. But yeah, put about 40 litres in, so that'll keep us going for, uh, for a while. Uh, apparently the fuel boat's coming up, so we want to try and support the fuel boat if we can. Well, just walking up to the lock and uh, Nicky's actually got the gates open, so I go straight back, take Chugs in. It's quite a nice looking lock, this. I will share it. Yeah, there's something about this lock. It's quite, uh, it's quite nice. I'm sure there was a full services here, but as you go through lock number five, there is a water point, but it's very, very slow. So we're aiming to fill up at the services at the top of the flight. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Even nicer in the sunshine. Yeah, there's a boat coming down, and there's a boat coming down in the next lock, so we may be able to go straight in. Uh, Here in lock four is a prime example of what they do to strengthen the walls on locks. But you do have to be careful if you've got fenders down. Yes, you sometimes see these throughout the system, like little strengtheners. You can see them throughout this lock to hold the lock walls in. But if you've got your fenders down, you do have to be careful in case they catch on there. That's it. Atherston flight done. It's been very warm today cruising up those locks. It's been hard work for little Lily and Nikki. Uh, really has been warm work. So they're just cooling off at the minute and having a cold drink. I've done the water. I've clicked. Well, I'm doing the water. I've done the loos and the rubbish has gone out. So uh, just going to top up with water, find a mooring. I never told you about my prescription. I phoned my doctor on Thursday. And they ensured me that they would email and fax my prescription through for three month dose to the Atherston Pharmacy here in town. So I went to pick them up on the Saturday. They hadn't even heard of my doctors. Yeah, not unusual, really, knowing my doctors. So I've got to chase it up tomorrow and try and get it done. So we're pretty much stuck here until I can get me pills. So uh, fingers crossed it'll be soon. The water point here, very, very slow water pressure indeed. Uh, and it is a little bit awkward to get on this point when you come out the top lock. You sort of have to shift the back end round and do like a, a slide onto the mooring. Um, yeah, it's okay, it's not too bad. But the water pressure, very, very slow. A beautiful little building. the quaint little roof and the chimney. As you come under the first bridge out of the top lock there's the former hat factory here looking very sorry for itself at the moment. Uh, but think of the apartments that that could make but apparently I've heard rumour that it's due for to, uh, getting demolished they're knocking it down which is such a shame look at it such a waste. The local kids have certainly put pay to the windows. Terrible.
not my favorite type of mooring this uh, in a crowd uh, with houses behind us uh, old factories at the side of us it's not the nicest um, hopefully it'll just be for tonight though and then we can move on tomorrow um, much rather be in the middle of nowhere really uh, but it's handy for town hopefully I can get my prescription we can do one last shot before we head out into the countryside again oh I just hope I can get my prescription we'll see See you tomorrow. Well, good afternoon. Yes, we're still here in Atherston. I've been to the pharmacy this morning. They didn't mess it up. My doctors did. I've got one month's prescription, so I've got to sort something out. But uh, I'm not worried. I've got enough to keep me going for a little while. Uh, but we've decided to move. We're completely Atherstoned out. We've been here for some time now, so we're heading that way. We want to find a nice, quiet mooring and uh, perhaps get some fuel at a marina up there. Right, let's get a fire up. Let's get going. Very, very mixed feelings about Atherston on this trip. I think we'll be stopping there for a shop and then flying through. Um, it had a little bit of a vibe, vibe, vibe about it. Um, yeah, some weird smells coming from a lot of boats. Uh, so yeah, we're quite glad now to leave Atherston behind for this part. I have stopped there before and had a lovely stop there and it's a lovely town. Haven't got a problem with it at all. Uh, but yeah, it just had uh, a bit of a bad, bad vibe about it. Um, there was reports of somebody on a push bike uh, robbing the boats. Um, so you're always on edge. Shortly we'll be coming to Springwood Haven Marina, I remember this one, very lovely looking little marina. I haven't actually stopped there, but I know they helped my friend Malcolm out last year. Uh, aiming to get some fuel from there, have a little bit of a look around the shop too. That's it, we're all fueled up, we've had an ice cream. And now we're on our way again, just to find more in for the night, maybe just around the corner. A really lovely friendly marina there brilliant service and quite a well equipped uh, little chandlery in there yeah really nice And now another famous landmark of the canals. I don't know if it was ever used, but what an oddity that is. In the middle of nowhere.
Well, we're just coming through the outskirts of Nuneaton, so what we're going to do is push on through Nuneaton and then find Mooring the other side. So we might be going for another hour or so, or we may crack on to Hawkesbury Junction. We're a little bit undecided, but uh, we'll see. the lovely boot wharf I stopped there to fuel up and use the facilities last year very very helpful they were a bit of a tight squeeze to get in but very helpful I always find it sad to see some of these old bridges look so rough. That would have looked so grand back in its day and now look at it. Covered in graffiti and rust. Sad. Yeah, I've lived on a boat now for about three and a half years and even going through a town like this uh, doesn't really make me feel comfortable. Uh, Nicky's the same. Um, it, it puts you a bit unease really with all the traffic and people we just saw there was a, a couple of drunks just by a bench back there I don't know it's uh, yeah I don't think I could ever move back to a house I don't think it would be difficult anyway I just feel when you see the houses it's like just loads of little boxes I know we live in loads of little tubes but at least we can move our tubes just not for me but some of these gardens they do make them look beautiful they put lots of effort into them very nice We're just coming up now to the lovely Marsden Junction. Uh, takes you up the Ashby Canal, a beautiful canal, one of my favourites, and we are going there. Nicky and I are going there when we've done Crick. Uh, we're going up there, but we're not going up now. We have got plenty of time, but we really want to take our time and enjoy the Ashby. It's a beautiful canal. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Nicky's looking forward to it. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah, the Shropshire Union, I think, will always be my favourite canal, but the Ashby certainly holds great memories. It's a beautiful canal, absolutely gorgeous, so picturesque. It's uh, breathtaking, and there's so much to see and do. Yeah, it'll be great to get on there. Um, it's going to be brilliant. We've got so much to look forward to after Crick. Um, we do have plans as well for a couple of weeks after Crick um, and I may reveal that, we'll see, but yeah, exciting times ahead. <laughs> 